when you first got the role and you're like, you're going to be the director, did they in the beginning tell you you're going to be an inhuman, you're going to be this character that has this long history in the comics, but even though we're going to change things, or did they just spring it to you like the week well, before? Well, they told, they told me quite what I thought was quite a bit of information, and then I received my first script, and most of what they told me was revealed in the script that, you know, that he's the director, and he's inhuman, and has this superhuman strength. Uh, so I was sort of sold, <laughs> sold on the idea that there was this going to be this sort of big, you know, long arcing storyline. And actually, we got most of that out of the way in the first episode. Yeah, so, so like, I feel like I'm in uncharted territory. I spoke to the rest of the cast and they're like, dude, that's normal. Like, that's, that's our lives here. We only really get to know what we need to know script by script. And I think they're used to it, and they kind of like it that way. So, so I'm just along for the ride, and wherever it goes, you know. Yeah. So you're you're not. You, do you know like how old you might be, or if there's a connection to Captain America? Um, I know there's. Um, I mean, it's already been reported in in the media that um, he is also known as the Patriot. Mm -hmm. So um, how that manifests itself remains to be seen, um, and what the link to Captain America is uh, remains to be seen. Um, but it is true that the, the roots of the character go back to the, to the 40s. Uh, Jeffrey Mace, who took it upon himself to become Captain America while uh, the cap wasn't available. So, um, we'll, what we, we'll have to wait and see. But what we don't know is, is what kind of a twist the S.H.I.E.L.D. writers are going to yeah. put on it. Because they always do their own cool um, kind of take on it. So.